Jonathan Webb in CFFC 72, UFC Fight Pass, February 16th, Hard Rock, Atlantic City. The tickets are available. You can win tickets on our app. Download the app and try to win tickets to see Jonathan Webb. He's got an interesting fight coming up, bumping up to 185. I'll have that call with my broadcast partner, CM Punk, on February 16th. And Jonathan Webb joins me now here on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Jonathan, what's up, man? How you been? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm all good. I'm excited to see you fight again. Last time we saw you fight Hugh Pauly here in Atlantic City, which was uh, a battle, three rounds, and uh, you got the unanimous decision there. But uh, this one should be interesting, bumping up a little bit. Yeah, it's my first time going up to 185, but I'm, I'm excited for it. I get to eat all week. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know, one thing, that was the first time that I did uh, MMA fights and – got a chance to see you guys during the week there and man the week going on what you guys go through is unbelievable the focus and the mental strain that you guys have the couple days leading before those fights this should be something that helps you out i guess yes i mean a lot of people don't see that side uh the fight's only 15 to 25 minutes but the hard part is that that week leading up to it and the nine weeks prior to that training for it yeah, take us behind the scenes a little bit there because you just said, like, it's something that I wasn't really aware of, you know, watching. I was in the room when you guys were weighing in and just seeing, like, the exasperation on your faces for some of you guys when it was all over with. I mean, that is a huge, you know, burden, it feels like, to get ready for a fight of that magnitude and have to worry about, am I going to make it? You know, that to me is an undervalued part of getting ready for these fights. Yeah, the, the first fight is always your weight. So uh, let, let's say on, on a normal fight, I fight at 170 pounds. I walk around at a, a good 200 pounds. Jeez. So to get 30 pounds off is, is not an easy task. So, you know, it takes a lot of work. And, uh, you know, at the end, it takes uh, just a lot of commitment and time to, to get that weight off. All right. So tell us a little bit about CFFC 72 coming to Atlantic City. But – how has it been on UFC Fight Pass and how that has changed the game uh, automatically? You know, they asked me if I would do the broadcast. They tell me, hey, by the way, you're going to work with CM Punk. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, so it really seems like the game has changed from CFFC to what it could do for you guys moving forward. Now, you're a guy, too, who has some experience at that next level, but I would imagine – CFFC now is a great opportunity for you to get back to that spot with a win on February 16th. Yeah, I mean, like uh, any casual fan would know, uh, you know, Cage Fury is the, the best at getting people to the next level. Uh, so it's like if you, if you want to make it to the UFC or to any of those really big shows, Cage Fury is that place that if you go and you dominate and you become their champion, uh, then you get on to the next level. So. I mean, I, that's my plan uh, this next weekend is to go out, dominate that fight, and and uh, get that belt so I can go back to the big show. Now, you're fighting uh, Kyle Dawkins, and, of course, uh, this is a fight that you're bumping up for. He's undefeated. He's a big name on the card. And, obviously, you know, you said this is good for you because of the weight thing, but how does that change the style of fight from 185 to 170? Uh, it, it's not going to change anything for me, uh, you know, of course, I got to watch out for his power because he's, you know, going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, but I really think I'm going to have speed on my side uh, since I'm coming up the weight class. Uh, and again, I, I'm not going to be drained out from the weight cut that week. And you know, if he is cutting weight, I, I don't think he's a big 185er. So th this is a good one for me for my first fight at 185. Let me, uh, you know, I guess the, the, the casual fan might say, if you're cutting all the weight to get down to 170 and 185 is better, why not 185 normally? So a normal person uh, who who fights at 185, you know, those guys are like 225 normally. So what happens is they cut down all that water weight, they get down to 185, and then right after weigh-ins, they start rehydrating and, and putting the weight back on. So 24 hours later and we're, we're at the fight, they're going to be walking into that cage uh, at over 200 and something pounds. Uh for me, only walking around at 195, 200, if I cut down to 70, 170, uh, I'm probably only going to get back up to 195 top. So it's just 
I think it came from wrestling, and a lot of wrestlers started cutting weight uh, and then, uh, you know, trying to use it at, to their advantage, and then it just kind of stuck, and everyone's doing it. Uh, if it was up to me, everyone would fight at their natural weights, and I would just be a 185er, but because some of these really big guys are coming down, it's kind of a disadvantage for me to, to go fight a guy who's 225 pounds. Then you'd all be less miserable. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donovan Spiderweb, 11 wins, two losses, and those two losses both came uh, UFC, Fight Night 65 and 83. Talk to us about, you know, those two nights for you. You know, they're the only two blemishes on your record. So, obviously, I'm sure it's something yes. that sticks with you. What do you remember about those two nights? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm I'm 12-0 and 0 outside of the, of the UFC um, for – in those UFC fights, the first one uh, in Australia, like I, I thought I won that fight. I thought it was one of the best performances I've ever had. That was a split um, decision, by the way, for the listeners. Yes, yeah, yeah, split decision. So, uh, you know, I fought an Australian in Australia. So, you know, I, I mean, the judges probably liked him a little bit more than me. But, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I, that was one of my best performances. So I don't even count that one as a loss in my head. Like, I don't really hang my head low because of that one. The second one was a little bit uh, on me. I felt like I didn't train hard enough and, you know, didn't push it the way I should have. Uh, so it was all learning lessons. You know, I, I was young. Uh, it was my first time going, and now I'm a little bit more mature, and I'm ready to go back and act like the first two never happened. Uh, February 16th, it is Hard Rock Atlantic City. Uh, February 16th, Hard Rock Atlantic City. And, of course, uh, Jonathan Webb. This is a match here that, you know, if you're in your mind, is this a match that can get you that notice being on the fight pass that can I, get you back there? I think so. So, I mean, fighting another, you know, or undefeated uh, prospect, uh, you know, getting a win over him is going to be big. That's why I jumped on the opportunity. Uh, when, when it came up. Uh, so I think this win, I go out and, and dominate and hopefully get a finish. Uh, I think I'm going to get signed to one of the big three organizations. Yeah, and that's, of course, you know, CFFC, as you mentioned, a very top, you know, you guys were in Atlantic City, Borgata in December, back here in February, going to be up in Philly uh, in March. I mean, it seems that that if you can kind of catch somebody's eye being on the UFC fight pass, you can say, take that next jump. And you've already been to that jump. So obviously all these fights are trying to catch somebody's eye, but tell everybody a little bit about your uh, association and your style. So my, so I, um, I wrestled since I was a kid. Uh, and then I started, started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as a teenager, uh, with Brian McPherson, uh, who's like a New Jersey state police officer. And, you know, he, you know, just kind of opened the doors for everything for me. I, I had no idea what mixed martial arts or the UFC was. And uh, he opened up my eyes, and uh, I started training with him every day uh, all throughout the end of my high school and beginning of college career. And uh, I was still wrestling, and uh, I didn't know where I was going to go with it. And, uh, you know, then one day I decided I wanted to fight just to knock it off my bucket list. And I <laughs> took that fight one time, and I got – uh, like so addicted to the thrill of fighting that I haven't looked back once since. Uh, but yeah, we're we're a Hendrick Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, team, but we you know do everything in boxing, Muay Thai, and uh, all the other aspects of mixed martial arts. Uh, awesome story. It's a lot of fun. You know, uh, it was the first sitting that close, uh, up close and personal, seeing you guys. It, it is a tremendous opportunity uh, for our listeners out there. If you want to go see uh, the MMA style fights, it is awesome to be there live. It'll be at Borgata on the 16th of February. Jonathan Webb. Uh, all, you know, and, and this is one of the, the headline fights of this card. I'm really looking for because I saw you fight Paulie in the last fight, and I just thought that was a really – you know, that card was – that last card at Borgata was excellent. This one might be even better. Yeah, this one's really good. This one's uh, headlined by my little brother. I mean, he's the, my closest teammate is uh, Sean Brady. Uh, he's defending his welterweight title, uh, and that's actually the title I had uh, before I went to the UFC, and then he won it while I was in the UFC, and he's had it since, uh, and he's been killing it at 170, and, and I think he's the next best, you know, uh, prospect in the world right now. So, if you want to see a, a good fight and a great fighter, you definitely want to come in and and watch him throw down in the main event. 
yeah, uh, Brady will be with us tomorrow. And a lot of people think, uh, Jonathan, that if Brady wins the fight against uh, Houdin, uh, Abdul Hakim, uh, who fought in the Borgata card, that Brady might be able to make that jump too. Yeah, I, we definitely see that. Uh, this kid has a bright future. He's young. He's hungry. Uh, this is all he does all day is, is uh, just train and prepare. Uh, I've never seen someone – as strict on a diet and strict on a uh, workout routine as, as he is. Uh, and he, he deserves it. So he goes out and puts on a good performance. Uh, I see him getting signed, um, you know, hopefully right away after the fight. All right, man. Well, good luck. Uh, bumping up doesn't mean you have to be so miserable, you know, getting ready now. You can take it easy a little bit. But uh, we look forward to seeing you again February 16th, Saturday night, Hard Rock Atlantic City, CFFC 72. Jonathan Webb returns to Atlantic City in the cage, and uh, I'll have the play-by-play with CM Punk on UFC Fight Pass, but you can see it live at Hard Rock. We will see you up there, Jonathan. All right, I'll see you guys. Thanks for having me on. You got it. And uh, that starts our preview look at CFFC 72 coming to Atlantic City's Hard Rock Atlantic City, where I'll be on the call with CM Punk. And you can win tickets, as many of you have. Download the app and enter to win tickets, hit the CFFC ticket button, and we will have five pair of tickets to give away.